Hello everyone, Ecology here, and as you can see, I'm not in my garage, so to speak. That's because today I'm going to be showing you the A43, a tank that I do not own in my garage. So, I have nothing to show you. Well, so I hope you enjoy this battle, at least there's something to show you in this battle. So, enjoy. And here we are on Stalingrad. This music is very... Nice. I think they ripped it off one of the games, but or remade it, because just listen to it. See, it sounds like the Tundra Territory theme from Battalion Wars. If anyone played that, now I'm viewing my friend Shadowfire eight seven eight. He's driving his A forty three. And it looks like he's... Oh, there he goes. He's moving. There we go. He's finally in the match. And let's see what he does. Let's speed it up a bit as he goes around the KV-4 and the other thing. Uh, T-29. He goes over the trenches. Let's see. There's an AMX-5100. A Super Pershing over there. A low. Hmm, what do we do? Knocks over some trees, of course. Because that's always good. Trees are evil, like I keep saying. Evil trees. Must knock them over. Uh, he's searching around for good things as he hits that building. Couldn't go through it. It's not fully 100% destructible. Uh, nope, he wants to get into there, I see. Nope, he can't get into there. No, he's trying. He's trying. Nope. Nope, okay. So, he's going to give up. Okay, he gives up, yep. Gives up trying to go in there. And go looks for some more targets. Sees a Hellcat, the low, the 5100. It looks like he's going to go after the Hellcat. Because the Hellcat looks easy enough to kill. And the Hellcat just got damaged very badly. So now it's one-shottable. So now he's rolling up to this Hellcat, smushes some trucks, and shoots through a build, shoots through some walls, and kills the Hellcat. Now he's going to go, there's a T-37, and oh, SU-152. Oh, keep turning, keep turning. Don't get that SU-152's gun on you, or you will be dead. Bounces some shots off that T-34, hits it for some stuff. Oh, and he's tracked, uh, and he kills the T-37, but that... SU-152 is still there, and there's an artillery. The M44 also wants to hit it, but he's using the SU-152 as cover from the artillery, because that artillery blast could kill both of them. As he just keeps there, he just keeps penetrating the SU-152, and the SU can't do nothing since there's a building. Now he's going to try to scrape them off of him, and oh! They both miss. The artillery and the SU-152 both miss their shots. Now he aims for the lower glacius and Pet kills his shot. Uh, he kills the SU-152. Now he moves on to the artillery. So far he has three kills underneath his belt. The artillery is going to make four if he managed to get it. And one more shot. And secured. Four kills secured. Now let's see. Where will he go? Get the other artillery perhaps? He zooms in, aims in on the artillery, can't do anything because of that rubble. He sees a little bit of the artillery, shoots at the artillery, the artillery misses, and the artillery is now dead by the T-44 that came in and killed it. Now where is he going to go? There's a lot of tanks pushing towards the cap. Is he going to f go destroy the hunt them down, or is he going to just cap their base? There's a Dicker Max right there. Let's see. And the Dicker Max is now destroyed, as he looks like he's going to go to the Jag Tiger 88. That is way in the corner, as he's going to go run around and try to support the failing flank. Oh look, the Super Pershing has appeared. Fires at the Super Pershing, it's a bound of rubble. Still aims at the Super Pershing. Doing damage to the Super Pershing as well. More kills to the Super And the Super Pershing died by the T-29. Yeah, the T-29 destroyed. Good job, T-29. Now, there's a Jack Panther that was spotted over here some time ago. 
That may or may not be still here. No, looks like it vanished. But there's the Jag-88. Now he's gone. Oh, there's a big force of stuff. There's a... STA-1. Oh, and he died. He is now dead. But four kills underneath his belt. He still did a lot of good damage and stuff. Now... Panther 2 is way over there. The Jag-88 is still there. And he exits the battle before it fully finishes. But it was a victory. The team manages to win the battle. And let's go back to the garage. Click. And welcome back at the World of Tanks loading screen. Yes, I don't have the tank in my garage. And as you see, that was a very good battle that guy did. Yes, it wasn't a full battle because he died and exited before it finished. But it was still pretty good. I enjoyed it. He did a pretty good job. I giggled. And that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my very horrible loading screen. And if you like, comment, subscribe in this comments below in my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.